Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and I do have a quick little random buy here. Well, we'll see how quick it is anyway. Um, it's a small little lot, a tiny little stack of cards, but it came with a particular item that is really going to make up the bulk of this buy. From Goodwill in Tacoma, Washington, Olympics and Rainier. Let's get into it here. Paid about 230 bucks for this little box, and in a second you're going to see why. Paper there, get into it. So, <clears throat> got a little football here. Trying to cut that thing because it is a bit of a classic, I think. Some of you might be already seeing that and knowing what it is. Watch out for this tape here. Carefully going get this open here so here's a little stack of cards and that is an Chandra intro deck that is definitely not enough to warrant 230 bucks we'll go through it here in a little bit and see if we get lucky it's a nice little little sack there got a return to Ravnica kind of sack there that's pretty cool with Jason didn't miss it but nothing close to as cool as this very nice, nicer than it looked on the uh, on the listing. Playmat from the '90s. This is a, I believe it's a Kalsa Brain playmat, and this one has some custom signed art on it. So, real quick, let's look at this handcrafted by Kalsa Brain Games. I'm not sure exactly what year these were made sometime in the early to mid 90s um, and then this one was um, apparently signed by a couple few different artists looks like three different artists in 2003 so someone may have taken this to a grand prix and got it signed um, so we're going to take a second here we're going to look at like some comparables on ebay and see if i came close to uh making my money back on this i'm, I'm probably going to save this for quite some time uh, I'm probably never going to use it. It's basically, I don't know if you'd call this an investment. Maybe it will go up in price. Maybe it'll just kind of stay at the same value. I don't, these, are, these things are kind of rare, rare enough to where I don't think they're going to be going down in price. One thing I want to do is try to figure out who these signatures are and uh, the associated art. So um, that should be kind of interesting. So we'll, we'll kind of deep dive into that. Um, very, very cool. And... Okay, so this says 1999 Wizards of the Coast, so um, <clears throat> a little later than I originally thought, but I still think it's um, pretty cool. There are definitely different versions of, of, of these, or there, there were several different ones that were made, and they all seem to go for in the $200 range, um, but now with custom artwork signed, that's up to, you know, it's something that you could put on eBay for an auction and, and kind of hope for the best, I mean... On Shop Goodwill, I was kind of hoping there was not quite as wide of an audience. So this is the kind of thing that might actually go for a bit more on eBay. Or if I was to wait down the road and just kind of set my own price on it, I might be able to achieve that. So, But first of all, let's take a look and see if we can figure out what these signatures are. And I may not be able to do that because I'm just not that smart. Maybe someone, some of you out there could just recognize off the top of your head who these signatures might be. Um, I, I don't. I wouldn't know. I'd have to kind of do a little deep dive. So I'm gonna go. There's a website where I had seen where they had shown off some of these artist signatures. I was gonna take a look. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, great. So I think I got a setup here. So uh, this is the website MTG Kingpin. Dot com and they have this page for artist signatures and here basically exactly what I was looking for frequently collectors are asking is this the artist signature on my card can you verify it well you can actually scroll through the list and uh, take a look and see if any of them match which is what I'm going to kind of do now um, I'll probably kind of speed up the process a little bit because th there's a lot of artists on here I believe so we're going to be kind of looking to uh, to see if we can somehow 
somehow. This is a tall order. I, I get that. Kind of figure out what is that signature and what is this signature and what is this signature. So uh, let's take a look here at that currently now. So I guess I, I could have started um, by looking at potentially like this custom made links. Looks like a links. Um, I could look up what artists have done. I believe I recognize that art. I'm not sure is it glittering links or some other kind of links. Um, but I'm not sure about this uh, this line. I mean, it kind of it looks like a Johnny. But in 2003, I don't think a Johnny had been created yet. I think this might be more along the lines of uh, custom character, or maybe it's one of the legends. Is there a lion, Leonin? Um, creature from before when a Johnny come out and then and this dragon could be anything it doesn't it's not recognizable to me so I think I'm gonna start here just like looking at the signatures and seeing if I can get lucky it may take a while so let's just give it a try so kind of scroll down so now that I've got the signatures in my memory I think I can just kind of scroll down and hopefully one of them will jump out at me Brill. There's, it's a B, but this is a little different, and the the B is similar, but uh, I don't think that's it. It doesn't seem to be it, so we'll leave this here. That does it does very much look like the same letters B R I L L, but it is uh, it is written differently. And that would have been Mark Brill. So I don't think that's what that is. It's not Brom. So this is definitely a B name. So I guess once we get, once we get out of the B's here, we're kind of we're kind of back to square one. So like if that was not Mark or uh, yeah Mark Brill, who the the signature looks very different, although it does have some similarities then I don't know who this would be. So we gotta kinda move on, right? So this other one here is very distinctive in the way that it's it's got a you know a whole structure to the way that it is. And, and who knows what actually starts? Is this a T up here? Is it just a P-O-S-T post? Is it Mark Post? Or RK Post? Maybe this is RK Post? I guess we could look and see um, and then this one here, it's really hard to tell like what letter that would start with. Could be an H, could be a W, it's not, I'm not sure. So I guess we can go through the list and, and try to get lucky. Um, we could skip ahead all the way to RK Post, but I guess we'll just kind of go in order and again, see if we get lucky. This may be a fool's errand in the end. A lot of artists have done art for this game, and I'm sure that not all of them are represented on this website either. So we're definitely like kind of behind the eight ball trying to do it this way. There's Seb McKinnon. It's definitely not him. <laughs> and yeah, it definitely would have to be an older um, signer or signer from way back in the day, right? So some of these guys are newer that they didn't get started until after 2003. Oh wait, what's this? Look at this. RK Post. So, 
So let's see, get it in camera here. Where is it? There it is. There we go. P O S T with uh, I'm sure it varies, but you've got like a little looks looks like a three with a squirrely on the side there, and he puts a little box in there. So I think that's confirmed. I would say that this dragon here is an RK Post signature. Um, pretty popular artist, definitely back in the day. Uh, I'm not positive that he does much art for newer cards. I'd have to look up on, I think you can go to Scryfall and, and look like that. So, But that's very cool. Hey, at least I got, I got a one out of three so far. Um, RK Post drew this dragon, which is hey, it's a good looking dragon right there. So I think that uh, I'm on the right track there. So. Um, my other one here where it starts with a B, I think we missed that one. It was didn't seem to be um, Brill. Um, and then this one here, it's still very difficult to figure that out, what this one's going to be. I, I, I need to look up the Lynxes and see if this was an artist that might have drawn a Lynx like that. I'm going to go through the rest of the list here and just see if we can get lucky. Z Zant, huh? That's not it. And that's it for this page of signatures. And so, like I said, like this, there's a lot of a lot of signers that were shown here, but that can't be all of the uh, artists that have ever done art for Magic: The Gathering. It's possible that these artists were not official Magic artists. They may have just been artists that were at a con or something like that. But I mean, this definitely looks like the style of Magic: The Gathering. So I'm going to do a little bit more research to find these other um, signatures here. Um, the, the art for the links is, is kind of familiar to me. This Leon in, I don't know if that's an official art. So I'm gonna go to Scryfall actually and kind of continue my investigation over there a little bit more. All right, here we are at Scryfall. Um, we can hit the advanced search. Um, uh, I'm going to start with the word links. <laughs> I know that's a little on the nose there. And just take a look at everything that was printed as a links. And see if I can match. Because this, this art seems familiar to me. I look at thousands of old Magic the Gathering cards. Um, you would think I would just know the name of that card off the top of my head. It's definitely a links. It's not a hungry links. That's too new. Is it a... It's not a pouncing links. Yeah. It's a... It, yeah, okay, it looks like a spectral lynx. Very similar in the, uh, eh, it's not glowing or anything. I mean, that's kind of hard to convey in pen on felt. Um, but, I mean, it's the same kind of pose. The artist here is Heather Hudson. Yeah, that could be an H. It's, that's, that's definitely uh, a possibility. Heather Hudson... I'm going to, all right, so let's go to the old Google here. I don't know, it doesn't really look like the same signature structure there. It's, so like on, on this, it like, it swoops out here to a long tail end. I don't know, the H it definitely has like a big swirl there. I don't know, I would have to become a, uh, um, <clears throat> an art, you know, it's an, a handwriting expert just to kind of figure out this project here. And uh, <clears throat> if that's if that's her uh, signature, then it's it, it doesn't look like it in the middle here. So I don't know. That's it's very hard to figure that out. <laughs> I would say. 
Um, let's let's just put a pin in that. Maybe it's Heather Hudson. Maybe I'm maybe I'm onto something. I can't really verify that. Um, let's see about going back to the advanced. Gosh, what would we search for to try to figure out this Leonin? Because it's not um, a Johnny. So a Johnny from Lorwin was originally printed. Like, where's the original printing here? There's a lot of printings of a Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Goldman, yeah, okay, so the original Johnny Goldman, if we could find the other version, the Lorwin version, wasn't wasn't created until 2007. And so like the character, yes, he's got shoulder pads, they're not like these kind. He's got a big axe, it's not like whatever this little truncheon is or whatever. So I feel like this art was actually a different Leonin from uh, like a, a an older set. So let me see, Leonin, and gosh, like you, you really have to fine tune this because we're gonna get a ton of Leonins here. I wonder if there are any from, that's it? No, there's gotta be more Leonins, so I don't know. I might be barking up the wrong tree here. Anyway, this is definitely like, um, definitely like tough to figure this out, but Whatever that is, it's cool. I like the art. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys down there, does anyone recognize this signature, or, and this one for that matter? Um, but I've definitely got an RK post. And uh, let's see, we'll go back to this. So here we go. Very cool play mat. I'm actually really stoked about it. The art that's actually printed on it is really neat. The gargoyle. Some archers and angel. There's even a pretty cool flower right there, fighting against the the hordes. And that actually looks like a Jabberwocky. So it's interesting. And some Crusader dudes. Excellent. I love it. I'm happy with it. Um, the search will continue for um, the artists in question, just so I can kind of have it and know it. And uh, I guess now is the time to go through the rest of this random buy. <laughs> it's not going to take much. Um, and see if I got my money's worth here. We got a swamp <laughs> and some Ixalan stuff. We'll just finish this up here and see if there's anything halfway decent. These are really beat up, by the way. They're not in great shape. So definitely the whole thing was that play mat. All I need is like three mana vaults to make this worth my while. Hey, there's a rare here. We got a silver clad for Rostodons in a beat up condition. <laughs> so, Blood Sun. Eh, it might be worth scanning. Hey, I got some more rares. Hey, we got an Angrath the Flame Chain. We got a Mythic here and an Angrath Fury. So. Hey, it's not all bad. And another Fury. And some Gatecrash stuff just in the middle here. And a actually sleeve card. So, I mean right there, if it was in perfect condition, might be like three bucks, <laughs> maybe five, I don't know. So there it is, but I'm really happy with my play mat and my little uh, random bot here. So thanks for watching. Make sure to tell me down below if you guys know what that is um, and appreciate it. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. Catch you on the next one.